everyone how are you welcome to another question and answer session this is the physiology portion of mrcs a person diagnosed with a cone syndrome he is diagnosed with the cone syndrome which is a disease if the parotid gland secretion were acid what change will be noted So the cone syndrome it is an disease in which the aldosterone secretion aldosterone secretion is increased. So we have to find out the action of aldosterone in the parotid gland. Here are the options. Options are decrease potassium, decrease sodium, increase sodium, potassium level unchanged, potassium level raised, and sodium level unchanged. So we have to find out one of the option which is compatible with this so first of all what is cone syndrome cone syndrome is a syndrome in which the it is the primary hyper aldosteronism that means the aldosterone level increase it may be different cause another one uh, one of the cause is there may be tumor in the adrenal cortex which secretes more more aldosterone and this aldosterone we know the aldosterone it acts on the kidney tubule it acts on the kidney tubule but uh, it is most of them it is known uh, usually don't know that the aldosterone it also acts on the parotid gland and other salivary gland also so the aldosterone it also acts on uh, parotid gland so now we have to see the mechanism of aldosterone so it is a triad of the cone syndrome it causes hypertension hypernatremia and hypokalemia in the blood that means the in the blood it causes high sodium low potassium increase bp that means increase blood pressure high sodium and less potassium actually high blood pressure it is high blood pressure it is directly to the sodium sodium increase we know where there is a sodium When said that there is more sodium, more BP. Less sodium, less BP. So when in Kuhn syndrome, aldosterone, aldosterone, it reabsorbs more sodium and water, BP increases. And we know the sodium and potassium, they are just reverse. That means when sodium increase in blood, then potassium decrease. When sodium decrease in blood, in this condition, potassium is increased. That means they are enemy. Where sodium increase, potassium decrease. Sodium decrease, potassium increase. So it is the normal phenomenon. And here we can see the sodium and potassium, they are actually enemy. They usually not present at the time with higher concentration. So hypernatremia and hypokalemia, it develops in the blood. But let's see, such as uh, it is a duct of parotid gland and the blood vessel going inside it so what happened blood will take more sodium and blood will exit potassium so what will happen in blood in blood sodium increase potassium decrease but what will happen in the duct of the parotid gland as sodium goes to blood then sodium level decrease and potassium is excreted to duct then potassium level will increase so it is the normal pathway of activity of aldosterone in case of Kuhn's syndrome so here you can see the aldosterone it affects the parotid gland for its secretion and it conserving sodium in the blood with potassium secretion increase that means within the duct potassium will increase so it is the normal activity here we can see when there is more activity of the aldosterone that means when aldosterone in is more activated then it reabsorb sodium and chloride from the parotid gland duct and other gland duct on the other hand it secretes more more potassium and bicarbonate in the duct that means here this is the risk level of the potassium risk level of bicarbonate and less level of the sodium in the duct also here it is showing the another figure and this is the potassium it is the potassium rich but sodium poor sodium poor and it is the hypotonic 
solution and it is details about the parotid gland such as the parotid gland it secretes about 25 percent of the total saliva and most of the saliva is secreted about 70 to 71 percent by the submandibular gland sodium and level of sodium and chloride are lower than the plasma potassium bicarbonate level higher and its secretion is usually watery and ducts is affected by aldosterone this point is very very important it is affected by the aldosterone so what will happen in case of cone syndrome in the duct there will be reduced level of sodium this is reduced level of sodium and this is decreased potassium not decreased potassium actually it is increased potassium and this is the increase sodium potassium level and sodium level will all both will be changes because they are the enemy one increase another decrease one decrease another increase thank you all